Hi, my name is Dr. Ann Marshall and today we're doing an anal sac expression on a sedated patient. Um, I have a trick that I learned from another veterinarian where it's very cheesy but I make a finger hole through a paper towel and this helps protect me from um, the uh, material that I squeeze out. So I have applied sterile lubricant to my finger. The anal sac sits at the four o'clock and eight o'clock position inside the rectum. This dog's just a little reactive because she's impacted. So she doesn't have an abscess. And then I express by applying gentle, firm pressure um, consistently. So it's not about how hard you press, in my opinion, it's about consistently pressing. So I'm doing that right now. This side's taking a little bit more effort because the material is abnormal. It's purulent, so this dog is beginning to abscess. So that's not normal material. Um, and we'll be checking her regularly. So the biggest thing with anal sac expression is you want to completely express. So sometimes it takes more than once. Um, again, gentle firm pressure, and sometimes it can take uh, several moments of firm pressure before they be begin to express, even if they're impacted. And she did because she's beginning to abscess on one side. Um, in this case, uh, just firm pressure was enough, and she did not need her anal sacs flushed out, um, which sometimes is required if they've abscessed. But again, four o'clock and eight o'clock position, get your fingers all the way around the gland or the sac and, and consistently apply pressure and it will eventually come out. Um, we also use this method to palpate for masses and things like that. In this case I did not feel any masses associated with the anal sac or with the duct, but it's important that she be rechecked in about two weeks when this inflammation comes down.